Hey, YouTube, thanks for tuning back in with the Dragon Story. Um, so, I'm going to take you through what I got. And I know I told you guys about the last video about the um, new member of the family that I'm going to get uh, with Yoda and everything and stuff that was going to go in that tank. So, I'm going to give you show you guys what I got or what I picked up from the pet store and stuff. Um, this right here is the terrarium liner. It was green. Um... Yes, for the fifteen for the fifteen twenty gallon. I'm not sure what size my tank is, but that's what fits it, so that works. Um, had to go pick up one of these heat mat. It was cheap, so the small one for ten, small one for ten twenty gallon, six by eight, eight watts. That's what I got him. Um, found some other little knickknacks and stuff, but I'll show you him. Here in a second after I should give you a little update on Yoda. And Yoda's right there, chilling. Trying to see what's going on. Um, this tank just got done fitting him. Gave him 20 mealworms. And he ate, I want to say, 14 of them right off the bat. And then waited a little bit longer. And then ended up eating two more. And he still has two more left in there. And I also decided to take out the paper down there because it started looking messy, wrinkly and stuff. I might put some more up, but I'm going to see how he does with his nose rubbing. See, look, look, there he is being nosy. There he is being nosy. But he's going through shed right now, but I see he has some very, very bright green colors and just pops out. Um, he shed a little bit on his left front right there. I don't know if you guys can see it or how well you guys can see it. And then on his back, and then his tail, he got shedded off. So, just waiting for the rest of it. I just got done spraying it. That's why the tank looks a little dusty and stuff like that. Um, and added some loss down there. So, that's it for Yoda. Um, so, I'm going to take you back here for what we got for our new member. Um, local pet store gave me these for free. Because you know, they're cool like that. Thank you, Petland. Um, got some small crickets in there, so, come on, start your guesses, or if you already know, start stating them. Got the cricket feeder food in there and stuff, and the cruncher, like I had in the rest of the videos. So, that's what's in there. They're on paper towels. Um, the light that I have for them, I'm thinking about using for the new guy, and going to get Red Bull so they can have some heat or some light up there and not so I can see them. But... So that's what's going on right there. I put the mealworms in these spots right now. I haven't taken them out of there because I got to go get some more oats for them. And I got to change that out. So down there, yeah, we exploded. All that used to be white or the oat color. Now it's dark. Let's go. Um, Still got whatever in there. I haven't checked on them because I'm hoping they stay small for my for a new dude, but I'm gonna take you. So this is the setup. Um, most of the things in here I got for free or found around stuff. The tank I found at a garage sale. Got it for five, four, or five dollars. Wasn't that bad. I got a I got a longer one, but a thirty by twelve, I believe, at my dad's that I'm gonna bring over here. Um, found these little dishes at a thrift store, 99 cents for both of them, so that was good. Um, the water dish, 99 cents. I got mealworms in there for them now. I don't know how well you can see it because of the red light. Um, all these rocks and stuff I found outside. Um, boiled them, baked them, ran water over, even put hand sanitizer over them, and then rinsed them off again with some boiling hot water so it's all sanitized. Um, these leaves that I showed you a long time ago that my mom had found, so I decided to put them in there. This over here, of course, is the hot side, you can tell. Um, right now, I just got Yoda's red light on there because I have yet to get a light for him. But he does have a heating pad underneath there, so it's not really necessary to put on there for a little bit. Heat up the rocks and then so he can crawl around. Um, back there is his moist hide. Oh, I found a light. Back there is his moist hide and stuff. And there's pretty there's a couple of different use, uses for it back there. Um, over here, 
He can crawl up underneath there and hide if he needs to, if he doesn't want to go in his moist one. But he's in there right now. Um, back there, that's his cool side. You can come many entrances, come right there or around back here on the back side. And he can even hide up underneath the leaves. So right now I'm going to try to have you guys get a peek of him. So let me go turn on this light so you guys can see him. Pretty nicely disguised. The above temperature up here is reading 100, but that's just up here right by the light, and that's where that's at. And over here, it's at a nice 82. 82 will probably go down at night, and when I get a different fixture up there. But yes, he's in here. Sorry, buddy. There he is. Up, zooming. Um, I have cardboard on the side. So I can view him if I need to. If he's in his hide. But he is back here. That's him right there. Really nice. He has two spots on his head and then one on his tail right now. Looks like a, uh, dominoes and stuff or dice. Um, I wish I could get him out of there. But I'm not going to disturb him that much because he is a new... And a baby. I'm not sure how old he is. I think he's like a maybe a week and a couple of days, if that. Um, I'm not really sure how you can tell if they're snake eyes or not, but I've seen some videos where they have uh where they were talking about the dots on the legs or something like that for being a snake eye. Um, because he has one on two on his back hind legs. But if you guys can let me know, that's that's him right there. He's in the chant. Uh, he has his eyes closed because the light's really bright on him. But that's him. I'm, I'll try to get a video out better of just him for you guys. And thanks for watching. This is the Dragon Story.